Hey everybody, it's David Hope here, Observability Solutions Director at Elastic. And I just wanted to tell you about a couple of things that I think are really interesting, really exciting in log monitoring with Elastic in 8.9. So the first thing that we've done in 8.9 that is a little bit different solves this problem where index mapping exceptions occur due to malformed fields. So in the past, if data that came into Elastic didn't match the index mapping, Elastic Search would drop the entire document and return an error. This became especially problematic with logs, as you can imagine, because typically logs have to have inconsistent or user-generated content, and that leads to potential data loss or ingestion holes. So to address this, Elastic introduced a setting called Ignore Malformed. With this feature, instead of dropping the whole document, only specific malformed fields are ignored, while the rest of the document is processed seamlessly, which is big for log data, right? Because it ensures that vital log data is not lost just because of a few erroneous fields. And so in Elastic 8.9, We've made the ignore malformed setting default for both all Elastic integrations and in the default index template for log data streams. So if you have a look over here in Elastic, you can actually see that. I've got the, the syslog index template here. And if I have a little look on here and click actions and I click edit, and then, uh, you know, I just want to, I just want to preview it. So I review the template and I click on preview. You'll see in here now, look, see, ignore malformed is true. So this should significantly reduce the amount of logging that gets dropped or causes an exception, which is much, much easier for our users. You'll find that less information is lost when you ingest logs into Elastic. Now, the second thing that is really exciting that I wanted to just talk about is the Elastic AI Assistant. So if we go over here into observability, we can see logs over here. We can get a stream of log messages. We've got loads of stuff going on here. And now what we can do is we can have a little look at uh, our logs and click on view details. We can see here that we've now got these new bits in the UI that tell us a little bit about what this message means. And this will go off to generative AI, in this case it's a chat GPT, and it will tell me all about the log message. As you can see here, it's it's busy telling me all about the things <laughs> that are relevant to this log message. It also tells me about my GCP environment a little bit, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there's loads of interesting information coming out here. It tells me what this log message is all about. Um, and then also it can tell me, you know, how do I find similar log messages? So no doubt this will write me a Kibana query to go query for log messages that are similar to this, which is incredibly helpful. And this is available in 8.9 in technical preview. Now there's a couple of blogs that relate to these two features. So I'm going to pop those into the into the, the details of this video. So have a look at those and, and get on and, uh, and get 8.9 installed. Thanks for listening, folks.